when Umar radiallahu anhu came to Al-Quds, when the Muslims conquered it, he was approached by his general Abu Ubaid ibn Dirah. And Abu Ubaidah radiallahu anhu commented on Umar's uh, clothes. And he talked to him and he said, you know, Amir al-Mu'mineen, these are people who, who, you know, their dignitaries dress in certain finery. And even now when we're looking, we kind of see there's a lot of jewelry, there's a lot of, of beauty that's added to the dignitaries here. And so Umar radiallahu anhu, he said, Abu Ubaidah, I wish that someone else other than you said that. Basically, he's saying like, can you dress up a little? The people of Al-Quds, you know, the, the Christians here, that's what they're familiar with as far as leaders go. And Umar radiallahu anhu said, Abu Ubaidah, I wish someone other than you had said that. And he said, his famous statement, he said, we were the most humiliated of people, the Arabs, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored us with Islam. And so if you seek honor in anything other than Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forsake us. We come inside the masjid. Umar radiallahu anhu, the church of what's called the church of Al-Qiyamah, or the church of the Holy Sepulchre, is literally right down, it's right around the corner here. And so when Umar radiallahu anhu came, uh, they wanted him to pray there. They invited him to come inside the church and pray. And Umar radiallahu anhu refused and he said, I don't want it to be used as an excuse later. Umar has such incredible foresight. He said, I don't want it to be used as an excuse later to build a masjid. Because they say Umar prayed here. And so he stepped aside a little bit to this place and he prayed and Umar's foresight came through. They built a masjid. And this is the masjid. It's beautiful. This is the agreement that Umar ibn Khattab who made with the people of Ilya, which is one of the old names of Jerusalem when he arrived. He says, This is what the servant of Allah, the commander of the faithful Umar ibn Khattab gave to the people of Ilya of security. He says, He says that Allah, he gave them uh, security over themselves and their wealth and their churches and their crosses. And so their religion is protected. And he says, um, he says, وَلَا يُكْرَهُونَ عَلَىٰ دِينِهِمْ وَلَا يُضَارُ أَحَدٌ مِّنْهُمْ And he said, and they will not be compelled in their religion or over their religion. They won't be converted by force or anything like that. And none of them will be harmed. Um, and he continues until he says they have to expel the Romans because that's who the Muslims conquered it for. So the Roman soldiers as well as the seeds. This is amazing. He says, فَمَنْ خَرَجَ مِنْهُمْ فَإِنَّهُ آمِنٌ عَلَىٰ نَفْسِهِ وَمَالِهِ حَتَّى يَبْلُغُ مَأْمَنَهُمْ so he says, and whoever of them leaves, so whatever soldier leaves or what have you, then they are protected, they're, they're, they're safe. They won't be betrayed by the Muslims. You're free to go. You're free to go back to wherever you're going, as long as they don't stay. And then he says, and whoever decides to stay, he says that they are, um, they will have to pay the jizya just like anybody else. So even if you're Roman, you can be a citizen of Jerusalem as long as you decide, obviously, to not fight the Muslims and to pay the jizya. And then he says, وَعَلَى مَا فِي هَذَا الْكِتَابَ عَهْدُ اللَّهِ وَذِمَّةُ رُسُولِهِ So he says, whatever, he basically says this is a promise uh, from Umar, uh, on, uh, from God, or by God rather. And the signatures who witnessed this document are Khalid ibn Walid, Amr ibn As, Abdurrahman ibn Auf, and Mu'ad ibn Abi Sufyan. What an amazing group to witness the document. May Allah be pleased with them all.